Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to episode number 17 of Europa Universalis 4's playthrough as Castile. Uh, this is Ranquist here, and we are very excited. There is so much that we are doing. The last episode, we were just crushing Algiers and the Mamluks. And then, these people, really, who cares? Uh, they are way too far away to make any sort of difference. Um, so yeah, so Algiers is completely 100% occupied right now. We're going to be taking quite a bit from them to give to Tunisia. Uh, and honestly, I would really like to take away from the Mamluks. If we can get Tripoli from them, um, you know, I may even be looking to possibly uh, keep Algiers with some land to get some from the Mamluks. All right, so what does that entail? We've got some of our men coming. Okay, we are going to push them to Rashid because they're right there. Okay, and Naples, we've got Tunisian army. Cool. So we've got 20,000 men, 19,000 men there. Um, and let's get some, let's get rolling. Let's push these guys back out of attritioned water because we really don't want them to get hurt. Uh, we do have a port there, which is nice. And the benefit of that is we can blow up their ships when they come out. We're getting peace offers from Algiers. We're getting peace offers from the Mamluks. And no one cares. Okay. Uh, naval supplies in Porto Seguro. Fantastic. All right. Our colonies are looking pretty decent. We've got 500 and two 300 colonies, which is great for us. Uh, we've got our explorer dude here who's not doing anything, and he should be. Uh, let's move him over here. Let's get some more of... Uh, South America going, or the Central America. Maybe we can meet the Aztecs. And then we can push further in there. Because remember, we finished our exploration idea, so we have a permanent Casus Belli against the Pagans. Start that patrol. At least if we get him moving, then uh, he's doing something, right? Right. Now, what is your capital? No, no, no. Really? What is your capital, guy? Cairo is not your capital? Oh, maybe... All right, Cairo is your capital. Okay, I feel better. So once we capture Cairo, this is going to start to uh, to really landslide. All right, so... We lost our people influence. He's ours. Goodbye. Get out of here, Algiers. No one cares. Although, can we sue? Ooh, maybe we can sue for separate piece. Oh, we can! Let's uh let's do that. Okay, well, that's nice. So considering we have a hundred percent war score with them, wow. We can just take pretty much all of their stuff. They have, they're gonna have one province less. Now, how much overextension are we gonna get from this? This is crazy. It's gonna take a lot of diplo power, but twenty two we can pretty much annex Algiers. <laughs> Okay, and can we take money from you? No, you have no money. Of course you don't have money. So this is 22%, 16, 20. So 42. It's going to be pretty close. All right, I'm going to accept this deal. Now, this seems like a really bad idea. It really does. Now, let's pause real quick because we just got a lot of stuff happen against us. All right. We are in a military coalition. I understand. I understand. Death of a cardinal. Yep. That really sucks. The guy we spent so much money on, so much papal influence on, is dead. Great. Okay, so... Let's let's uh, let's take a look at things before we really move forward. We're only at seventy-two percent overextension. And honestly, the only thing I really would love to get from the Mamluks uh, is Tripoli. You know, 
Yeah. That's it. I mean... <laughs> All right. So can we do that? They would be willing to give us that. That's funny. All right. Revoke cores. Release nations. They would not be willing to release that nation. So now at this point, considering I pretty much ate Algiers completely, uh, I think that I'm actually going to be looking to release that because there's going to be a lot of stuff that Tunisia is going to have to core here. Uh, and we are going to need to be able to um, give them time. Okay, so this is our best option. We're at 32% war score. They need 41. We just need to take their capital, and Tripoli will be alive again, which is exciting. So, not to mention the coalition, or, you know. Yeah, yeah, we crushed them. Fantastic. How much would it cost to core one of these? 100, ooh, 121. I mean, that's not terrible. 181. 37% war score. And we blew up their ships, which is great. Dang, that sucks. It's okay. Come on, take... Oh, Cairo's taken. Ooh, even better. All right, let's pause. Let's get that. Sue for peace. You will do that. Plus, you will give us all your money. 54 ducats. 44. Send the demand. And we are out of this place. Forget you guys. The Mamluks. You are smaller. I should probably unpause. Tripoli is back. Welcome back from the dead, folks. Um... Okay, let's send these guys here. Let's get our troops. Oh no. Oh yes. Let's get our troops back to Tunisia. Got a... Well, that's not nice, Serbia. You shouldn't do that. I just swallowed an entire nation. And you're gonna insult me? It's a joke. Alright, so now that we have done that. Let's go to diplomacy. Let's sell a province. Yes. Let's start selling provinces to... You don't want it, really? 400? Will you take it if we give it to you? How about that? You will? Oh, how nice. Tunisia has grown. And this is really what we want. Again, we need to have them core these nations. Uh, because... Once they do, they can do it much cheaper, which is nice. They are Berber. Right? Yeah. Okay. Can we sell you any more? Come on. Oh, yes. You want that one, too? Take it. Aren't I so kind? I am a kind and generous. Oh, I don't care about that. All right, time out. Let's, let's pause. We can invest in technology. Let's take some more. Cancel that. Let's not do that. Let's, um, we need military. Get another idea then. So we're going to do that, which is nice. Ooh, we actually can get Diplo. We need that terribly. Can now build the embassy, which we are not going to do for a while. It's expensive. All right. Not to mention our colonial range will go up in the next level. So, all right, you. Let's go to diplomacy. 
It'll wait for our diplomat to come back. Sell. Sure, take it. You're welcome. You're welcome, Tunisia. Again, look how nice I am. Come back in seven days. All the while, look at our manpower just race back up. That's fantastic. So we're going to push into some of Morocco's land soon, too. Again, uh, we are going to milk this Tunisian... Uh, oh, crap. Where are you here? We're at 75. We need to push uh, Tunisia back up to really liking us. <laughs> so... Tunisia, would you like some more stuff? I mean, I know you don't want to, you know, spend money, but would you like it? Good. Wait for that last guy to come up. Hey, Tunisia, last time, I swear. I mean, I know you're busy. You're, you know, you're an emerging nation here. Oh, you don't want that one. Hmm. Why not? They're overextended. Oops. My bad. All right, so you guys, let's, uh, you can move up here. You, you can actually move all the way over here. Yeah, you there. You? Let's build some more improvements. We've got some forts to build. Build a fort there. Temples. We've got plenty of temples to build, but not over here. They are not ideal for our situation. What do we got to do? All right. Training fields. All right, let's go with armories first. Armories are a little bit cheaper. Uh, yes, they're not going to give us as much, but we're going to do it anyways. One... Ooh, let's pause. Let's get our big fleet, you, here. We've got our transports. Let's get you here. We're going to pick up some of our troops. You are still going to move all the way to there. Why won't you move there? Yes. Now, Tunisia. Tunisia. You know what? I'm going to keep this here. Because if you have rebels, I'm going to be pissed. Okay? So, what is our next step? Let's look at we are colonies. All three of them are just about finished. Okay? So, we've got one, two, and three. All right. So, the next colony we're going to build is going to be the Gold Coast. We need it. <laughs> Rio Grande, speak of the devil. Plenty of admin points to take that. We are going to push up towards the Caribbean. Hundred population in the Ivory Coast that pushes them. There should be a stable government. Lose admin power, lose prestige. Well, we've got plenty of prestige. I need that admin power. Oh, God. 
Borgid. Actually, you... Let's move you back here. Actually, let's move you to here. Okay. We've got a free diplomat. You, let's diplomatically improve relations. Send you. Oh, we lost some people. That's not good. Dang it. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Honestly, that was... Colonies? Did I lose that entire colony? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Whew, that was scary. Our other colony finished. Let's keep mowing down Africa. Let's send this here and this entire group. All right, let's pause. Sure. 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 Might as well. Our navy's here. Select you, get on the boat. That's good. So once we uh, start working on this, Gold Coast is the uh, important center of trade here in the Ivory Coast, which is kind of silly. In my opinion. Uh, we're going to have to... Crap. Let's detach a unit. Pause. And we've got... Oh, that's good. We've got a new air. Got some rebels. Ooh, we lost our explorer. Let's get a new explorer there. Fifty Diplo. He's terrible, but, yeah. He be an explorer. You know what's funny, though? I'm gonna... Uh, what's interesting here, I need to do a little bit more exploration, because uh, I know it's only 1513, and we can actually annex Aragon, which we're going to somehow do. Let's uh, improve relations with them. Uh, but I have not seen much of Portugal's er, expansion. You know, they have this little bit here in Africa, but there's really not much. Usually they're at least somewhere in Portugal, uh, Portugal in the Caribbean. You know, maybe they, they switched over to the Americas. I'm not sure. It does look like they're going to go to war with Jolof, which I don't care. Ooh, this is not what I wanted. This is not a good makeup. Let's move you here. This isn't good. Okay, so let's look. We knew we have revolt risk. Why are you revolting here? You shouldn't be. Oh, Lollard heretics. That's not good. Now we could boost ability.
Hmm. Can we do any ideas? No, we can't. All right. So let's take a look at what we've done. All right, Tunisia, uh, we are working on relations with you. That's huge. We're at plus 59. We need to be at... Oh, even better. Let's uh, also... One, two, three... So they are almost done, too. Um, so we are almost ready to the point where we can annex both Tunisia and Aragon. Now, Tunisia, we're not going to do. Not anytime soon. Because we still want to eat some more of Morocco. Probably at least half of them. Um, maybe more. Who knows? Uh, and so we're going to want to do that. We're going to eat them. At least to the point where we could possibly use Morocco as a... Uh, another uh, vassal eat them go this way eat them and conquer the world of course we want all of Africa we want to reconquist everything uh, and then we want to still colonize and we've done actually a pretty good job so let's look at our country which we are not going to be Castile for very long I will say that um, so Castile we've got a little bit of tip here we've got a good portion of Africa down here we will have we have a lot of control over North or you know the middle of northern Africa uh, now as the next episode we're gonna keep expanding northward and southward in South America because there's a ton of money here um, and then with Africa we only have so many direction we only have one direction to go so that's why we only need one colonist going to this direction uh, there's not a lot of threat from it everybody else uh, as far as colonization goes Portugal yes but that's kind of why we keep going southward here uh, and you know once we hit I mean we've got one more uh, well We've got one more province to core before we can actually uh, declare war on, uh, I believe, which one are you? I don't remember. Ashanti. This should be the Ashanti. Uh, and then we've got just a couple more provinces to go uh, to attack the uh, Benin, the Hausa, and then just keep going down towards the south of Africa. So, so yeah, and the south of Africa should be pretty much free and clear. I don't know how much... Uh, let's see what ideas did they take. They have taken defensive ideas. Eh, I guess that makes sense. And espionage. <laughs> Interesting. So they're not going anywhere. Uh, this, these people probably aren't going anywhere. Religious and hedgezazi ideas. Uh, yeah, so nobody's going anywhere. And we still have... Uh, we have a lot of land to conquer on this side, on the eastern side, which is Swahili, but we'll get there when we get there, okay? So we're, we're going to grow at a relatively decent pace. Uh, the biggest thing that's holding us back is our Diplo ideas, because our trade is lacking quite a bit. Now, as our overseas income goes up, uh, we're going to build more buildings overseas. Right now, we're not gonna, we're, we are not going to can't really build any temples or constables overseas, because it's not really worth it, uh, as far as finances go. So that's what most of uh, the homeland is for. Uh, and soon we're going to be swallowing Aragon, but uh, we got to be careful with that, okay? Because as soon as we swallow Aragon, we are going to be directly in the lion, you know, next to the lion's den uh, with France and with uh, with England. So, you know, we got to think about these, these things. You know, I don't know what their opinion of France is. I'm not sure. Um... So, again, we just have to be careful. There's a lot of things to think about. But uh, that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, we will see you next time uh, when we probably go to war with Morocco. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Until then, we'll see you guys later. Bye-byes.